Hello and welcome to National Park Wild. I'm Eric, and of all the states in the U.S., few are quite as diverse in their natural scenery as Colorado. Here you can drive from mountain to canyon to desert, back to mountain, pretty much anywhere in the state. There is so much incredible natural scenery. So naturally, there are four stunning national parks in this state. Today, I'm going to be ranking them based on how much I enjoy them, and I'll talk about what's great in each one and what you should do on a trip to each of these parks. Let's start. Number four is Mesa Verde National Park. Keep in mind, just because it's in the last place does not mean it is bad by any means. In fact, I really enjoy this park, and I definitely want to go back someday. There are cliff dwellings here, and that is the main thing people go for. If you are into history more than anything else in the park, I think this could be your favorite. The cliff dwellings such as Cliff Palace. That's probably the most impressive one. Being able to go up close to that and see these thousands of years old structures that were built by Native Americans is stunning. I love being able to see these dwellings, and I also think there's some pretty solid natural scenery as well. You're on a plateau, sort of, so you have some canyon views, and it's not the Grand Canyon by any means, of course, but I think it's quite impressive. So I think if you're going to go here, definitely book a Cliff Palace tour, or one of the other tours of Cliff Dwellings, and also be on the lookout for some wildlife, because there is a bit here. I didn't get to see a ton, but it's something that can make a trip a bit more interesting. And make sure you do the entirety of the southern parts of the scenic drive, because that's where you can see all of the incredible canyon views that make the natural scenery of the park just as special as the history. Number three is Great Sand Dunes National Park. This is near Alamosa, and it's a pretty remote one for sure. It's sand dunes in Colorado, and it might feel like something out of the Sahara Desert because the dunes are over 700 feet tall at points. And when you see these massive dunes, just so smooth, there's something about sand dunes of such a great size that is special to me. And being able to see that and walk in the dunes as well is fantastic. If you go here, high dune is a must. It is a somewhat tough trail to do, not necessarily because of the elevation gain alone, because it is 700 or so feet. So I would say maybe that's not as much as other hikes, but because it's sand, you may struggle a bit going up. I love this hike, and something important about this park is the mountain backdrop. Mountains are my favorite type of scenery in a national park, so being able to see that behind these incredible huge sand dunes definitely adds a lot to the experience. I love that. And being able to see a creek certain times of year is also quite special. There are nice forest hikes. If you go here, I definitely recommend going into the preserve parts of the national park where you can see mountains and do the hikes in the mountains. I have yet to do that. I've only done main recreation in the sand dune area. But that area is stunning. And I think this would rank higher if there was more wildlife that I saw. I do love wildlife in a park, and I'm not saying wildlife makes this park worse, but it did help make the other two above it better. And I'll get to that right now. Number two is Black Canyon of the Gunnison National Park. Near Montrose, this park is one of the least visited. Very few make the trip here, and I understand, it's certainly not easy to get to, but I think it's absolutely worth traveling for. Scenery-wise, the canyon is an eerie but very unique sight. You have, instead of vast, orange canyon walls spreading for miles like the Grand Canyon, you have a tall, steep, narrow canyon with sleek black granite, and it's not like anything else I've ever seen anywhere in nature. Some sites, such as the Painted Wall, are otherworldly. And if you get close to this canyon, I would say it's scarier to look down this one, the Grand Canyon. Also being able to go to the bottom of this canyon, just like you could for the Grand Canyon. That is fantastic. Being able to look up at these black canyon walls is breathtaking scenery. The Gunnison River is not quite as mighty per se as the Colorado River, but it's definitely a cool one to see. And I think when you take into account how many excellent hikes there are to tons of different viewpoints. 
And because of the way this canyon is, I feel like there's a lot more variety in the viewpoints of this canyon than the Grand Canyon itself. But what really holds this park up, adding to how amazing it is, is the wildlife. Deer is the main animal you will probably see here. And deer on their own probably are not the most special national park sighting for a lot of people. But what was more interesting, we saw wild turkeys, which is always an interesting sight because I don't see them at a ton of parks. A snake, don't see that very often so that's nice. And then a black bear on one of the trails. That was the sighting I never expected to see at Black Canyon of the Gunnison. But it was such a fantastic sighting. The bear was in the area for a while. And this was in an area kind of near the start of a trailhead. And there's sort of different ways where it could split off. So we were going around different trails searching for the bear for photos. And at one point we found him sort of in a valley that was below where we were standing. And that was a breathtaking sight. So that wildlife sighting and the fantastic, excellent Black Canyon with such stellar scenery easily earned the number two spot. However, number one had to be Rocky Mountain National Park. This is not a super long drive from Denver, and it's absolutely worth traveling from there to go. This is one of the most popular national parks, and for good reason. It has breathtaking mountains. I would say they are among some of the best in the nation. I wouldn't say they're quite up there with Glacier, per se, but they are even above, for me, Lassen Volcanic and Sequoia, which I hold the very highest seat. But Rocky Mountain, the Trail Ridge Road, is definitely one of the best. You'll be at level with Alpine Lakes, and you'll be above rivers, and you'll see eye to eye with tons of different mountains. All of these mountains are fantastic to look at, and I love that. Stellar scenery here, and you can do shorter hikes such as the alluvial fan, which will take you to a nice sort of waterfall. And the Bear Lake area has some of the best day hikes of any national park. And I think Dream Lake is one of the best views, and Emerald Lake is also good too, but Dream Lake is an underrated one. So overall, scenery-wise, Rocky Mountain is the best in Colorado. But I think the wildlife is also the best in Colorado here. I've seen deer, which is cool, but even cooler was seeing fawns. Seeing the young deer with their mother is such a cute, adorable sight, and I love that. We've also seen bighorn sheep, elk, moose, and coyote. At one point we saw a pretty large herd of bighorn sheep and a large herd of elk in the same frame as each other in a camera shot. That's something I definitely did not expect to see. And you can see so many incredible things just by driving the Trail Ridge Road. But getting out to the hike will show you even more impressive scenery. And that is why I think Rocky Mountain National Park is the best national park in Colorado. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this ranking. Subscribe to the channel so you know when new content comes out. I have a lot of other national park videos on the way. I'll probably do some more individual reviews of parks with Grand Teton coming soon. I'll see you next time.